What's up guys? So today is the last day on the Duke. Uh, I actually sold the bike yesterday um, and yeah so I'm riding it to work today and uh, the new owner will fetch it probably tomorrow or the next day um, and then that's that. Um, so the reason why I sold the Duke uh, is just purely I missed my street trouble. <laughs> um, I, because of the type of riding I do, the street triple just kind of suits me a bit better. It's a bit faster, um, just a bit more refined. But don't get me wrong, the Duke has been flipping awesome. Uh, I really enjoy this bike. Um, all the torque that it has, the handling is amazing. Um, it's super, super maneuverable. Um, and for for this kind of riding commuting in the mountains um, that's perfect super light on fuel I actually can't believe how light on fuel this bike is like commuting gets like 3.9 liters per hundred which is pretty insane um, but yeah I I just kind of miss my triumphs really um, I just gel with them a bit better um, I prefer that kind of engine um, so yeah the 790 has been super fun um, I'd highly recommend it to anybody that's looking into the 790 um, just make sure it's been looked after and the cams are healthy um, this bike has healthy cams and the engine's running perfectly smooth um, so yeah, like it would be a great step up from a 390 or like a 500 or something with a little less power than this. And uh, I think the main, the main selling point of this bike is the amount of torque that it has for its motor. 87 Newton meters is quite a lot and people don't realize that uh, the 790 pulls a lot harder than they expected to that's uh, what makes it so fun um, it just pulls like a much bigger bike uh, it makes you feel like you on a big powerful bike um, the only place it gets uh, let down a bit is on the top end obviously um, after 8000 rpm or so it doesn't really pull very hard um, but if that's not the type of riding you do, then it doesn't really matter. Um, the only place it actually matters is on the track uh, and if you like to ride very fast on the highway. Um, as I've said previously in my other videos, I, don't, I generally don't ride that fast on the road, like straight line fast or... I don't know, I kind of stick to around 100, 100 to like 130. I don't really go much faster than that so the top end doesn't really bother me all that much but on the track where I get pretty competitive with myself and with other riders uh, I lose out quite a bit um, at the previous track day um, I came out of the last the second last corner onto the back straight behind a 675 street triple and uh, I couldn't catch it. The top end on that bike was just a bit better, even though they have the same horsepower figures, uh, 105. Um, out the corner, I was behind an, uh, I was behind someone that was quite slow, so I didn't have the torque advantage. But yeah, top end, I just couldn't catch him until the braking zone. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm now looking for another 765. Um, will most likely be a 2018-2019 model uh, I don't have the money for a newer one like I had before um, but I quite like the look of that one oh man so easy to really um, yeah to be honest I like every single generation of the street triple the only one I don't really like is the very old gen 
that has that weird like alien type of fly screen on it but I love the dual headlights the the round the old school round lights I love those I love the next generation with the angular ones so like the 2012 up to the 2017 uh, I like the 2018 to 2020 which is the like rounded off version to be honest actually those are actually my favorite ones they just look a bit more elegant and then the newest ones the Pokemon style sharp insect like ones like those as well so I I honestly I don't care which <laughs> yeah street trip I get um, I know there is a difference there are some differences between the 2018 2019 and the 2020 to 2022 models uh, the 2020s to the 22s have a much better mid-range um, and obviously they have the down blipper like this bike has 2018s and 2019s don't have the down blipper um, and the dash honestly the dash on the older one looks so much better I much prefer the dash on the first version of the 765 that came out um, the nice bold lettering with the line type speedo um, the one that I had on my 2020 I, it was super annoying I really don't like it that much you get used to it but everything's just kind of small and hard to read and the tachometer I don't like the design of it that like inward faux 3d style thing I, I really don't dig that uh, and that was one of my biggest complaints uh, when I first got the bike uh, is the dash is shit um, and having to reset the ride mode every time is super frustrating um, as far as I know on the on the 2018 2019 765s if you set your rider mode so not track sports street etc if you set rider mode to have no anti-wheelie and no traction and stuff uh, it remembers those settings when you turn off the bike I'll have to confirm but I'm pretty sure that those models do that I know my 2020 didn't I always had to put it into track mode because um, it defaulted back to rider mode every time you restarted the bike which is annoying so if you forget and then you go and try and do a wheelie or clutch up or whatever uh, it brings you back down quite harshly uh, so that just became one of my um, processes whenever I turn on the bike just turn on the bike mode track and then leave not a big deal um, like a lot of the like a lot of these modern bikes it's the electronics that are the like niggly things that irritate people um, and it's not the actual performance of the bike or it's uh, suspension or brakes or whatever because uh, you kind of know what you're getting into when you uh, getting the bike but the uh, small electronic things are just quality of life uh, annoyances I guess uh, so yeah anyway rambling hopefully get a 2018-2019 model soon and uh, we'll do a reveal once I get it but yeah, gonna miss this. So easy. <laughs> I must say the 790 has really made me better at wheelies just because it's so flipping easy to wheelie. Um, yeah, better at wheelies, better at just sliding the bike around and enjoying it. So yeah, anyway, that's uh, the end of this rambling video. I might. Uh, head to the coast later today it just depends how busy I am at work um, but yeah thanks for watching uh, and watching my KTM videos uh, I have enjoyed the KTM to be honest uh, the fit and finish is very nice performance is great sound is awesome um, but yeah it's just just not my vibe I'm more of a Triumph Triumph slash Aprilia rider <laughs> Not sure I would uh, uh, own an Aprilia anytime soon either. Um, so yeah, I'd say basically a Triumph convert. Anyway, talking shit now. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.